E B E L U two two at students dot Winona dot K twelve dot MN dot US. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Just yesterday, or so it seems, I sat in the computer lab of Jefferson Elementary School, my alma mater, and I logged into this email account for the first time. As I saw the year 2022 tacked on the longest email account known to man, I remember thinking that 2022 seemed very far away. So far away, in fact, that by the year 2022, we'd all be commuting by spaceship just like the Jetsons. The world looks a lot bigger now than it did back in elementary school, because soon we'll all be spread out across it. That distant future that we used to try and predict is finally staring us back in the face. And that's what makes today so exciting. This hopeful future wouldn't be possible if it weren't for my parents, who have never failed to be positive, kind, and loving role models that I aspire to every day. For their love and devotion, I will always be grateful. So, as a thank you for raising me for the last 18 years, I scored them the front row seats today. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> I'd like to thank our teachers for helping shape our character and giving us the gift of knowledge. You play such an important role in all of our lives, and on behalf of everyone sitting before me, I say thank you for doing everything in your power to prepare us for this next stage of our lives, especially during the midst of a pandemic. Miraculously, my camera and microphone were always broken at the most convenient times during Zoom classes. Now I'm up here giving a graduation speech. Quarantine gave me lots of time to think. Lots and lots and lots of time. More time than anybody would ever need. However, something became very clear to me. I spent most of my school years being silent. Usually, I'm as quiet as they come. That is something that I'll always regret. Now, all I want to do is speak up, but we can't rewrite our past. We can, however, focus on our future. This isn't the end. This is the beginning of a new chapter. Make your voice heard. Show the world who you are and what you stand for. If I could rewrite my own past, I'd make myself study more and take less Disney-themed BuzzFeed quizzes during class. <laughs> However, I unfortunately cannot go back and change these decisions. We can learn from these mistakes and move forward knowing more than we knew then. And now, it is time to move forward. As one chapter of our story ends, another one begins. So, our futures are a blank page waiting patiently for us to make our mark. So what are we waiting for? Congratulations, class of 2022. We made it. Here's to the future and a shorter email address. <laughs> Faith Shine Stoltz. <laughs> Ella K. Stranko. <laughs> Jacob Daniel Sleepless. <laughs> 